don't leave your weaves in for six months and then be asking us why your hair is breaking off sis because your weave was in for half the year <laughs> like hello <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting video for you guys. Today I'm going to be giving you guys five reasons why your hair is not growing, okay? Now, don't take it personal. Don't get offended by anything I say in this video. There's a lot of things that we do to our hair, things that we just go through the motions and do and then we complain about why our hair is stuck in our ear. Like, come on now sis. <laughs> We're going to do better. And I'm going to tell you guys everything that I know. Let's get right on into it. So the first reason why your hair is not growing is because you don't know your hair. You don't know how to style it, how to take care of it, the texture, the density, the porosity. All of those things play a really big role in what you use in your hair, how you style it, how you wash it, what products. Like, all of that plays a role in your hair and like what your hair needs so if you don't know what your hair needs and you're like relying on like a stylist or someone else to figure out your hair for you no sis no you need to know your hair you need to figure out what works best for you i personally have low porosity hair it's very thick it's coarse it's on the dry side so like there's things that I have to do that other people don't have to do and there's things that other people have to do that I don't have to do for my hair. And I think once I figured out what my hair was and kind of like stopped trying to do what everybody else is doing, then my hair started to grow much faster. So if you don't know that, then who's going to know it? Who's going to know it for you? You can't walk into a salon and expect them to be an expert about your hair. They don't even know you and everybody's hair is different. So that's just that so that leads me into the second reason why your hair is not growing it's because you're not using the right products so if you don't know what your hair is you're just using whatever somebody else told you or you watched a video of some other girl and you're like oh her hair looks really nice let me try those products and my hair will come out the same no sis no <laughs> and you really have to listen to your hair Products, I found, is trial and error. You could try this line, that line, and you have to really listen to your hair. If something isn't working, stop using it. <laughs> I know that natural hair products are really expensive, but if you tried a shampoo and conditioner and your hair did not feel good after, then you're going to have to figure out something else to do with it. I don't know, use it to wash your wigs or something. But on the same token, you want to give products a chance to work. You know, maybe try it out for three or four wash days or try it out for a month and see how your hair reacts to it. Because sometimes your hair has to get used to using a product and you might not know that it really works until like maybe the second or third wash. Your hair is your hair. There's nothing that you could put in it to make it look like someone else's, okay? Your hair is going to do what your hair wants to do, okay? <laughs> so... You really want to make sure you're using the right products and you're using the right methods to apply those products like the LOC method or the LCO method like whatever it is you have to figure out what works best for your hair and that also goes back into my first tip which was learning your hair. My third reason why your hair is not growing is probably one of the biggest ones especially for me in the past. It's because your protective styles protective styles are not protecting anything at all okay for instance i used to think that weaves were a protective style like because my hair was braided up and i only had a little bit of leave out that that was protecting my hair and i would leave them in for months at a time and my hair would get all matted and tangled underneath the weave when it was time to take it out and i would get all this breakage and my hair was so uneven and it's like well yeah in theory maybe a sew-in could be a protective style but not the way i was doing them okay you actually have to do the work you know like moisturizing your scalp taking them out after three or four weeks or a month or so like don't leave your weaves in for six months and then be asking us why your hair is breaking off sis because your weave was in for half the year <laughs> like hello <laughs> also um doing things like really really tight tight braids that's gonna break your hair off that's probably another reason why your hair is not growing buns if you wear your hair in a bun every single day 
day. You're pulling your hair up super tight into a scrunchie every single day. It's breaking your hair. It's doing all of that. Like, yeah, sure, a bun could be a protective style, you know? It's not too much manipulation. You can just, just kind of throw your hair up in a bun and go about your day. But sis, you, can, you can't wear a bun every day. You can't wear a ponytail every day. It's not protective at that point. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure that, yes, protective styles like these, like passion twists and twists and braids and box braids and sew-ins and wigs, those are all things that can help you protect your hair but if you don't use them in the way that they are intended your hair will break off okay okay <laughs> so be really really careful with protective styles and make sure you are taking care of and nurturing your natural hair underneath those styles period so, the fourth reason why your hair is not growing is because you are not getting the proper nutrients you're not eating right you're not drinking water you're not getting your vitamins you're not getting the proper things for your body to function if your body isn't functioning well on the inside you are not going to manifest good things on the outside okay a lot of people say drink water mind your business it works for your hair too, okay? Make sure you're getting adequate water intake. You wanna make sure you're taking some type of daily multivitamin. I take these hair skin nail vitamins by Heartbreaker Gummies. This is what the bottle looks like. As you guys can see, this is about how much I've had. You take two per day and these vitamins were sent to me by Heartbreaker Gummies, but obviously my opinions are all my own. Honestly, you can use whatever hair skin nail vitamin that you want to use to grow your hair but i really like this one because it's vegan it tastes really really good like these taste like fruit snacks okay they taste delicious they're soy free they're cruelty free they're gluten free so there's really no harmful ingredients in there and a lot of people make the mistake of like only taking biotin or only taking vitamin C or only taking this, only taking that. Like your body needs all of those nutrients to function. You can't just take biotin and think that the biotin is going to do all the work when you're deficient in other vitamins as well. So these Heartbreaker gummies have biotin, folic acid, and vitamin A. And this container comes with 60 pieces. Let me just look up the price for you guys so that you guys know if you guys are interested in getting these. To get a one month supply of these vitamins, like this size bottle, it's going to cost you $29.99. If you guys are interested, I will have all of the information in the description box below. I also have a 20% off coupon for you guys. The code is CURIOSITY. I'll have all the information for that in the description box below as well so that you guys can check it out and use the coupon code to save some money I have seen a difference I've been using these for a couple weeks now and my nails are getting stronger I can't attest to hair growth in such a short period of time but making sure that you get your daily vitamins whatever they are whether it be this or whatever vitamins you guys want to use that is going to help your hair grow if you're not getting the nutrients your hair is not gonna grow i happen to really like these and thank you so much to heartbreaker gummies for sending me these because your girl really needed to start taking some vitamins okay my body was starving for nutrients so here we are <laughs> okay so the fifth and final reason why your hair may not be growing is because it's dry it's brittle it's breaking off you're not retaining length you're not getting your trims the way you should you're just if your hair is really, really dry and brittle, it is prone to breakage. So every time you get a little bit of new growth, a little bit of length, it's going to crumble right off at the ends. So you want to make sure you're moisturizing your hair, you're doing deep conditioning treatments, you're getting your trims, you're doing everything right. If you slack off and you let your hair get dry, brittle, and crunchy, and you're trying to comb it when it's dry, and you're doing all of that stuff, you're gonna experience a lot of breakage and you'll never see true length because it's just not gonna retain. I have really, really dry hair. Like, my scalp flakes. It does all types of stuff. 
and it doesn't take much for my hair to get dry so I really have to pay close attention to keeping it moisturized because my hair will crumble right on off if I leave it dry for extended periods of time. Dryness causes breakage and breakage means you're not going to see length and we all want length. We all want our hair down to our butt okay so you want to make sure you're doing everything that I mentioned in this video. Once again if you're interested in the Heartbreaker Gummies hair nail vitamin supplement I'll have all the information in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope at least one of these tips helped you out because I'm making this video low-key for myself because this is the video that I should have watched maybe five years ago when I couldn't figure out why my hair wasn't growing. So I hope this helped one of you guys and you learned a lot from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any more tips as to why people's hair might not be growing. And I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,